Hello, Danger Noodles. We are waiting for Hatchet to join uh, us before we start. Uh, and there we go. <laughs> ow. Yeah. Ow. Oh, the ad. Oh, yeah. Okay. The ad was screaming into my ear. Oh. Yeah. Also, as you can All tell, right. I spent a long while getting the strawberry again. Okay. Because I just love the face. I mean, if you're using the same browser, it should keep what your avatar is. No, it gave me the yeah. robot when I came back in. That's weird. Yeah. yeah, Bookworm has the same one. I have the same one. Hatchet has the same one. All right, let me follow up. Shit, sorry. I accidentally clicked. I was going to say, let me write up the scoreboard real quick, but I guess we're doing it now. Got Hatch, Book, Jiri, okay. and... Now I gotta think about what my first one is gonna be. So yeah, we aiming to do three rounds of this? And we may be able to have three rounds. Yeah. Or maybe I should ask, like, when are you planning to end stream? Eleven. Oh, eleven? That early? I got work tomorrow. Oh, right. Gotcha. Oh, then maybe we just do one round. Fair. So we can actually get on to the spooky stories. Oh, this might be a bit of a slow ball. Oh my Who did that? Who do you think? Bookworm. <laughs> what was that, Spoon? Yeah. God, how much of a pain in the ass drawing with just this straight line tool is. Or, I mean, writing. I really wish I had a drawing pad for this. Same. I wish they had a typing thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I mean, your handwriting is pretty damn legible, honestly. Thank you. Ain't as bad as my friend Vernie's. I've always tried to work hard on my writing skills because of my shaky hands. Yeah. Although technically I said had good hand handwriting like someone who's 
typically practiced as long as I have, but it would be a lot more great when I fucking write. Yeah. But you know, shaky hands. But yeah, I was just getting into a mild uh, argument because there was a, a, a cute little kind of suggestive comic from a artist that I like that's depicting like uh, a femboy and the guy at first thinks the guy is uh, a woman but the femboy kind of makes a uh, a cheeky remark that's intended to get the guy who's hitting on him to realize that he's actually a guy right yeah and i saw people basically arguing that that was an example of trans people or like trans uh trans misogyny transphobia because the guy because they assumed that the femboy is a woman and that is a trans woman and uh, he, like, showed a bi flag behind his head when he realized that he was talking to a guy. So they were making the argument that this uh, comic was implying that he's only allowed to be attracted to a trans woman because he's bi. When, like, literally the most cursory glance at the author's portfolio would tell you that they basically primarily focus on effeminate guys. And it's just like, uh, like that sort of shit does exist. Like there's people who treat like attraction to trans people like that, but this is not it. <laughs> Oh, shit. No, 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 no. What? What's up? Ooh, now I'm really interested in this. Uh, the Fears of Fathom episode four released early. Not sure if anyone saw Chu's message about that in general bullshit. Oh no, I didn't. Yeah, and what it looks like. Um, it l looks like uh uh. Do you copy? Oh. Or that, you know, like with the goat, goat man. Yeah. Kind of like the same, take the same place. But you, you can explore more. Cool. I gotta get this damn circle just right. I love how the first ending I got in Do You Copy, I got the guy killed. <laughs> I could see that. Yeah, because it said in the trailer, releasing this Halloween, but you can get it now. <laughs> it's not Halloween yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I just made him look demented. Oh no. What? Alright, so apparently in episode four, I'm guessing whatever could kill you can hear me. Uh oh. Oh no. So, in other words, you have to do it in VC. Oh, fuck you. You must do it in VC. I don't think they can hear you, because they didn't hear you guys during, like, another game that I did. Like, well, the... yeah, but I mean, like, having uh, us in VC would allow us to attempt to fuck you up, and that's good content. Time to make Bright speak. Yeah, that's the point. Mm hmm
and uh twitch don't worry what you see on screen is um not what you think it is i don't like the sound of that okay. you're not repeating any of the truth from yeah last night right no uh. i feel like that would just be really dumb yeah yeah. I don't know, I'm not looking at the stream. <laughs> yeah. Wait, I wonder if I do something. Oh, what the fuck? Where did it go? Where Where am I? No, I don't want to see the VTuber store. <laughs> South Virginia. Let me see, does that show up on there? No, it doesn't! Yeah! Does what show up on where? I can mess with Tangia when I'm done drawing now. Oh, cool. <laughs> do that. Just entertaining yourself over there yeah. while the rest of us work on our masterpieces. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't call mine a masterpiece. I wouldn't call mine either. But we're going to call them that regardless. Yeah, Fair enough. <laughs> but Grim says, yeah, I'm trying to think of something new, but it's hard. <laughs> we need to get, like, new people in here to do it. With us. Yeah. It can definitely get difficult. Gotta spend like the what I did is I just like thought about like what I could do for my lie during the day, and then like saying stuff that's true becomes easy. Hey, Bookworm, I'm about to play a certain thing on Twitch that uh, describes me and my computer. Should I be concerned? Yeah. We have technology. You know, maybe I shouldn't worry. Right isn't always a pervert. I put down, I, I use the Patrick uses technology <laughs> alert. Where he's just slamming the computer on the desk. You know what? Oh, Even yeah. He's not a pervert. I should worry. Probably. <laughs> oh, look at him choke! Ah! Look at him suffer! Ah! Book says, oh yay, waiting for me. Yeah. Wait, what? Book said that they're waiting for, or that we're waiting for them. It's okay. Yeah, it's fine. I'm just playing random shit to cure my boredom. <laughs> Not talking about rackets. I'm talking about balls. <laughs> yeah, not talking about rackets. 
<laughs> rackets. I'm talking about balls. Dude, how do you feel? I'm done. Just words, though. Uh, oh, okay. <laughs> do this time Yeah. That was interesting. I'm currently playing uh, Two Truths and One Lie with Bright, Hatchet, and Bookworm. We are currently on making our second thing. I'm not going to tell you if it's a truth or a lie because that would spoil everything. I'm pretty sure Spood would figure it out. Well, yes, yeah, Spood would probably know very well. Well, I need to move up to the next two. <laughs> shit, we we continued. I missed that. Oh my gosh. Oh. <laughs> I, I may or may way not way way have been on Twitter. God oh. damn it, Hatchet. Get the fuck off Twitter. No. Well, you, you missed quite a bit of time. I'm already almost totally done. Four minutes. I missed four minutes. Um... 
To be fair. To be fair. Yeah. To be fair. Happy. <laughs> From being distracted by Twitter by be to being distracted by cat. Oh yeah. Cats are a good distraction. Oh, why is there a goofy idea? Oh, yeah. Why would you say? Why would you say something so controversial yet so brave? <laughs> what are you laughing at? I played the uh, so controversial and brave alert. <laughs> Uh. Oh, yeah. Um. Uh, we're going to have a light test on stream. Wait, what test? A light test. <laughs> I flashbang the stream. <laughs> oh. I feel like that makes you a little shit. <laughs> he laughs. Without arguing. We are experiencing technical difficulties. Please stay tuned. Are we all clear? Oh, okay, we're all clear. Great. All right, hit the red button. No, not that button! <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I guess the question is, like, Bright, what do you prioritize tonight? The, uh, getting to scary stories, or? I'm getting some, man. Yeah. What is this? Let's say that's the right color. I'm gonna mute myself briefly to talk to food. Oh. Okay. okay. And, then, and suddenly, War! pineapples. <laughs> War! Ah! <laughs> I don't know why I didn't keep that one. That was amazing. <laughs> oh yeah, now for our sound test. You're just tormenting Bookworm over there. Why don't you be nicer to Bookworm? They're a good bean. What did Bookworm ever do to you? Uh, they killed Daryl. Bookworm yeah. did not kill Daryl. Who the fuck is Daryl? <laughs> What'd you say, Jerry? Who the fuck is Daryl? Uh, the, um, with many voices pet creature that's in that a uh, react image that Bright's been talking about. Oh. We named them Daryl. Not kill the imaginary monster thing. Don't know why I can never remember their number. The like nine six two nine six five. 
I don't know. But let's not call him a loser. You don't know? Wait, I wasn't I paying attention. Well, what's going on? What is the number of with many voices? 939. 939 there. So I guess we're waiting on Bookworm and Hatchet. Yeah, but I'm almost done. Just As adding some. Actually, was just waiting on Hatchet. It was me making some modifications oh, since okay. uh, Hatchet not done. Like, oh, since we have time. Ah. Uh, oh. All right. All right. I added. I a... forgot. <laughs> What? I, I I just realized I fucking uh in in my last one I I forgot to put the I and or I per, I forgot to put the N and G in a word with ing at the end. Oh. I just realized I made my I I made a a fucking U in my previous prompt look like a V. Great. I believe in you. What is what what is that even supposed to mean given that concept? Don't worry about it. I don't have a problem. You have a problem. No, I don't. You wouldn't say you didn't have a problem if you had a problem. And you wouldn't say I have a problem if you didn't have a problem. I know, I always have problems. Exactly, you have a problem. I don't have a problem. There is no problem. The first step to fixing a problem is acknowledging it. Yeah, but you see, I don't have a problem, so I don't need to acknowledge Wow, Hatchet. <laughs> this, hmm. Logic checks out. See, Bookworm gets it. I want to get called Y bright on every single one of my pictures. You said you wanna or you're gonna? I'm gonna. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could keep that from happening unless you wanna. 
Nah. It's more entertainment. So you do wanna. And I finished. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, Ed ate a part of my stream. What do you mean, ate? They ate it. <laughs> There's like a bottom ad. Like at the bottom of the screen that pops up, sort of thing. Oh. All right, I return to Twitter. Message. Hatchet. I love you. Now back to our show. Hatchet, did you finish? Yeah. Oh. Did you hit the finish button? Oh wait, yeah, you did. Yes. It didn't show up for a second on my screen. I'm guessing it's either Jiri or Book. Oh wait, it's Book. <laughs> Aha! I'm even greater than I thought I was. I believe in you, bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> I'll explain why I laugh so hard once I, I, I show everything. Like, you know, show all the three cards. Man. Yeah. Because I use one Tanshia thing and it just fits so perfectly. I said I was going to do that if you did that again. Oh, everyone done? Oh, oh shit. Give me a second. Bro, oh, okay. I'm sorry for farting. <laughs> I love you. Don't apologize. Fart whenever you want to. No, my farts smell foul. Just like a real snake. Kinky. I. There has to be a snake whose fart doesn't smell like it's going to kill you. I don't think Jerry heard what I said. <laughs> I heard you, and I chose to ignore you because <laughs> no one in their right goddamn mind would say that. <laughs> there are people who are into that. Between siblings, well, never mind. <laughs> you don't want to finish that sentence. <laughs> I'm not into it. That's what matters. <laughs> Booker says, "What if I want to die by stink?" No, no bookworm, no. <laughs> okay, hatchet, you good? Yeah, I'll give me a sec. Also, Spood over PM just described my fart as uh, a smell that smells like God's toenail got stuck up their ass. 
Uh. What kind of word combination is that? Hell, That's what know. my heart smells like. God's toenails got stuck up my ass. Mm. And you're on live stream saying this? Oh, fuck. <laughs> Bookworm! <laughs> well, no one, no one outside our friend group is going to know how many people, like, people are watching as far as Twitch knows. There's obviously That's more That's what than... clips are for, Jerry. <laughs> God damn you. Also, I know there's more people watching than two because Twitch is very bad at picking people up, but not that many more people, I'm positive. Booger says I will not clip it. I'm gonna protect Jerry. Okay, so that means Thank future you. bright when editing clip this. Right! <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay. I now close Twitter. I just realized that one of these people that I'm arguing with might be a trans mad. Oh. Ah. They cannot leave the server. <laughs> because now they're making the arguments that the reason why the comic is bad is because uh, all these cis characters magically have all the sex characteristics of a woman, quote unquote. Um, that's stupid. Like, besides the fact that for some reason we're applying physical sex characteristics to gender, which is already a problem, but mm -hmm. also the fact that I know of cis people, or like cis men that have all of those exact characteristics, because well, it's almost as if a... Uh, gods. That's because... Sex is more complicated than these are male traits and these are female traits. Yeah. A lot more people are intersex than people would like to admit or know. Mm hmm. All right. Anyways, ready? But anyway, yeah, I got my scoreboard up. I'm ready? All right. I'm prepared to be yelled at. Okay. Uh, uh, I was falsely arrested before. What? I swim in river snapping turtles. I, I cheated in a paintball war. Right, why did you literally draw a dick on each one? What do you mean? Why the first one's a baseball bat with balls, a flying fish, what? and a paintball gun. I don't buy your description of any of those at any point. Especially since you called one a flying fish. There's no flying fish that looks like that. You just wanted to draw dick. Also, there wouldn't be a paintball gun shaped like a dick at a public paintball war. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, how do you guys like my cop uh, picture, though? I call plagiarism. <laughs> hey, I give it an ass. Looks more like awkward pig balls. <laughs> and I also gave it a hat. <laughs> Where's its fucking snout? It, it, uh, it, I, that, I stole it. That's why I was falsely arrested. <laughs> What'd you say, Jerry? I swim in the river of snapping turtles is a lie. Well, first, the first one was I was falsely arrested before. Ignore bright, stupid drawing. <laughs> the other one was I swim in a river of snapping turtles, but this is bright. I think we can both imagine her doing that. And I cheated in a paintball war. Hmm. Okay, can I say something funny about that cheating in a paintball war? All right, so I played um, I'm in danger meme, and it put it right at the line of fire. Uh, <laughs> so when the like, rub was being why shot. How did that number three is the truth? I didn't say that was true. I just said that, that the Tangia meme was, put, did that. I didn't say it was true. I was no. just saying something funny. 
I will say that whoever swam in the river of Nap and Carol probably doesn't have a dick today. Oh, should I add Spood to the scoreboard? I mean, if they want okay. to play. Spood is guessing number two. Okay. For some reason, I spelled Spood's name with all caps, but I'm going with it. Okay. Bookworm chooses one. Book chooses one. I was kind of thinking one as well. All right. But here's my reasoning. Number two, if you know what you're doing, isn't particularly dangerous. I guess number one. Yeah. So we've got three people guessing number one, and Spood says two. Uh, yeah, I've never been falsely arrested. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So with the snapping turtle thing, I was swimming in a river. I was just minding my own business, and... Uh, just sleeping in the river, which is something you really shouldn't do, but <laughs> yeah. Right. And I felt something hit me. I was like, okay, what the fuck is this? And there was these bunch of little baby turtles. I was like, aww. But oh, they little were baby they... snappers? Yeah, but they were all stuck. So I wasn't sure there was something wrong with them. So I took them to an adult because I was a child at the time. And they told me, Right, th those are snapping turtles. <laughs> Put them down. <laughs> well, I guess the question is, uh, do you remember like what they looked like specifically? Uh, they had like, were black. They colorful. Uh, they were really black. I think it was like the alligator snapping turtle because they had that long spiky tail on them. Right. Why are you mm. so stupid? Even I, as a child, wouldn't have grabbed an alligator snapping turtle. They were babies. They yeah, were like snapping turtles. I mean, the the babies have barely any bite force, if I remember correctly. Like, it's much less of a hazard. Well, yeah, My but first... whenever there's a baby, there's an adult. I mean, not really. They're turtles. They tend to not yeah care for their young much. Oh. Good news is, um, one did have a bad cut on her stomach, but the rest were fine. Oh. So a park ranger took that cut one. That's good. Because in our state, yeah. if you call a park ranger, they'll take him to a for forest reserve in my state. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, the uh, the thing that I was, like, the reason why I was questioning, like, what you saw is just because there's a lot of turtles that get called snapping turtles that aren't actually yeah. snapping turtles. Yeah, that's also why in the picture I drew the long tails. <laughs> Yeah, like well, somewhat longer tails. Yeah. That's that's definitely way too long for an alligator snapping turtle. Well, yeah. Also, I'm going to admit, literally, the only reason I did not guess number three was because you basically outed that as being uh, true. I didn't out that it. I just wouldn't have existed uh, very well if, if you wouldn't have spoken about that that like that if it wasn't true. I didn't talk. about about it. I just said that a funny meme popped up uh, when I was messing around with Tangia. Oh, I thought you were saying it popped up like when you were doing the paintball war and it got you to like get it aimed at you or something. No, I was talking oh. about when I was messing with Tangia. <laughs> so yeah. I was accidentally saved by misunderstanding what you said. <laughs> yeah. Uh. And as for the, the, the cheating the paintball war, there was this one a place I was a, a base on top of a, a somewhat big tree, um, but they're supposed to remove boards so the people in the base can be shot. But it was like a no base war thing. But they left the the, the opening unlocked, so I just went up there and shot everyone, even my own team. <laughs> that was the what? only one left on the field. Bloody little shit. You're a piece of crap. Yeah, she is. <laughs> Do you expect yeah, like, any less than me? But yeah, the thing with the snapping turtles isn't just, like... Mm -hmm. The main reason why I interpret that as being true is because, like, my brain obviously assumes that you're talking about adult snappers. And generally speaking, both alligator snapping turtles and common snapping turtles, the only way... You, the only thing you have to do to avoid 
getting hurt is to just not mess with them. They're pretty chill. They're ambush predators. So as long as you don't, like, they're they're yeah. going to tell yeah. that you are way too big for them to eat. So as long as you don't get into their personal space, they ain't gonna bug you. That's good to know. Yeah. And it's also fun fact, while the alligator snapping turtle is uh, significantly more aggressive than the common snapper and has like one of the strongest bite forces in the animal kingdom. The snapping, uh, the common snapper, uh, is ironically enough like a like abnormally intelligent snapping t or like an abnormally intelligent turtle that mm -hmm. also has a fairly weak bite force okay. that is like comparable yeah. to a human's bite. It's really interesting. But mm. common snappers, if you actually have the means to take care of them well, they can make really good pets. You just have to socialize them right. Mm. And they're going to live a long time, too. But anyway. So I've got... Uh, so just to recap, uh, myself, Book, and Jiri said the correct one. Spood did not. Yeah. So here's the thing. Uh, Book is probably going to be the hardest. Out of the four of us still. <laughs> well, yeah. I don't know. I think I made mine pretty hard. Let, let's see, Bookworm. Will you guess what this one is? I went to school out of Pennsylvania. Okay. I got my first smartphone at 18. Mm -hmm. I have not read all of the Lord of the Ring books. I have no idea which one this would be. I went to school outside of Pennsylvania. I got my first smartphone at 18. I have not read all the Lord of the Ring books. I'm going to say three. Well, how mm -hmm. much money could you possibly have to get a smartphone that early? Or go to school outside of your state? I'm going to guess two. Are you guessing who has well food? Mm. All right. Did you get a phone when you were before twenty? Uh, yeah, I got like at age twelve. I got one of those phones that I dropped down the entire flight of stairs and didn't even have a chip in it. Uh, actually, you know what? I think I will. Uh. I think I will change my answer I now that I think about it. One. You know what? I'll go for number one, too. Okay, the funny thing is, Bookworm, it wasn't a Nokia. Uh, it was a Blackberry. And it somehow survived. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll, uh, uh, I'll say, uh, three. Well, book, uh, you're going with me at three? Yeah. So we've got the siblings saying one and the butt buddies saying three. All right, Jerry. I said the siblings. Jerry uh, said one as well. Oh, all right. Yeah. Jerry and Spoot are correct. Oh, we got it right. So, reveals the answer, Bookworm. They, they just did. Jerry and Spoot got it right. Yeah. So you you did not go to school out of Pennsylvania. However, here's here's my question, Book, because the reason why I chose three is I have a feeling I could weasel around this. Have you read The Hobbit and the Simulo Seminole, I think it's called? Not Seminole, that's a Native American tribe. <laughs> Have you read a Native American tribe? <laughs> uh, what's... Uh... I have not read Simarleon. Yeah, so it could be argued that... Oh my god, imagine. That... This Actually, one is also really false. Big geeks wouldn't count it if they didn't read the Mar Leon. Well, yeah, but the Hobbit and the Lord of the Rings are the only ones part of the series. Mar Leon is something separate but connected. Oh, okay, 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 fine. But have you played Shadow of Mordor? Oh my gosh! Shut the, the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so one oh wait, that's three? right. I'm again, I'm again, like mixing these up in my head. Oh. Like I'm thinking that like this is saying I have read the Lord of the Rings books. 
But I haven't. I'm stupid. Okay, <laughs> so Jerry and Stu oh. got a point. We only seen the movies. I didn't see e uh, any of the movies or read the books. Right. We are not friends anymore. You need to Why? <laughs> I only like read the manga. Or watch the movies, one or the other. <laughs> I don't think. Okay, I did watch the first a bit of the first of the Lord of the Rings movie, but I, I got bored and stopped watching it. A bit of the first of the Lord of the Rings movie. Which movie? There's three of them. You know what? I don't Why remember the, the name. And just uh, accept that she's stupid. Okay, what do you remember seeing? I know. Did you see a dwarf at any point? Probably towards the beginning of the movie? I don't know. I can't remember. Mm. Can we just assume she has no idea what she's talking about and move on? Yeah. I don't remember. Okay, I, okay, I literally watched it when I was 10. <laughs> right, let, let's move on. <laughs> Did you see people in dark rooms? I don't fucking remember. <laughs> Did you see a ring get thrown into a fireplace? Possibly. I remember... What about a... Oh, what? go ahead. I remember, like, a ring being shown on screen and I didn't have any interest in it. So, possibly. But, but was there a fireplace? Maybe? I don't know. I feel like you're fucking with me now. Oh. Alright, fire ghost. Being born gifted as a medium put me in danger many times. Okay, so you, you said when someone threatened my manager using a gun, I was the only one not in danger. I have never been physically harmed by a ghost. Being born gifted as a medium put me in danger many times. I think two. Hmm. I feel like one. I feel like you've told a lot of stories about the spooky shifts, but I don't remember any of them being where you actually got physically hurt. I think that's true. So wait, are you saying... I'm saying one. one or two because... I'm, I'm saying one is the lie. Bookworm? Book says, hmm. I guess it's unfair for Spood to compete here for this one. Well, Spood can still guess. But, uh, but Spood will guess after everyone else has guessed. Because they already know which one it is. Book says, I thought two and three had to contradict, but now I'm not sure. Well, hmm. technically, think of this. Number one has nothing to do with ghosts. I, okay. Number two and three are the ones connected to ghosts. Oh, two and three can are only in conflict with each other if, you know, basically one of them is probably a lie. Otherwise, the, they would contradict each other. Okay. <laughs> I will admit uh, that that was probably not well planned. Oh, but you see, that's the thing. Like, put me in danger. I was reading that as being like, like not physical inherently. Yeah. Yeah. Book says yeah, or the danger could have been mental or emotional harm. All right. You know what? Yeah, I'm gonna change my answer. I'm, uh, I am gonna go with two. <gasps> yes, I got it. Okay. I got the reactive PNG commission. Oh so my god. Everyone is guessing too. <laughs> yeah, is Spood also guessing too? Well, it Spood already knows it's number two. Ah. And right. they said it was obvious, but I should keep it anyway. Yeah, I, Jerry, I know you're too because you told me a story about one harmony. <laughs> Well, yeah, I've been possessed, like, twice. <laughs> so obviously, oh, yeah. if they tried to murder me physically, 
they put me in physical danger. <laughs> yeah, you told me. All right, I, guess, I guess I just didn't remember those stories. Yeah, the harm yeah. literally made me so scared of pills that I refused to take them for years, even oh. when I got so sick that I would vomit. I Damn. still refuse to take any mm. form of pills because of the trauma from being possessed. Damn. Well, think of it. If a ghost possesses your body and tries to murder you using pills, will you want to take them even when you're in danger by not taking them? I would say no. Yeah, that's valid. Yeah. Also, uh, who wants to see the final product? Sure. Also, it is extremely important that I mention that uh, there is currently a four-way tie. Uh, myself, Book, Jiri, and Spood all have two points. Oh. All right, it's being sent now. Oh, oh wait, so did I, I miss? I know that Spood was right, and I was stupid by taking that one as my life. Wait, come to think of it, what am I... When did I... Wait, okay, so for the first one, Jerry, you had... I just realized, I think I mixed these up. What? I think Jerry has one and Bright has two. What oh. are you talking about? Um... Like, in the scoring. Well, let's see. With Bright, I think the one that I guessed was the police one, which was the one that was the lie. Was Bookworm... Wait, no. Was that the one that was the lie? The police one, yes, that was a lie. Okay. Yeah, that one was a lie. What did, and the one you Bookworm, I got that right with Spood, because I listened to Spood. Okay, yeah, then I guess I've got this correct. Okay. Just my brain being blah. Oh, yeah. Right, where's Where is this image? Uh, in DMs. Oh, okay. I didn't get a ping for it. Aww. Daryl. But yeah, because of my medium abilities, I have been put in physical and emotional and mental danger and harm. Rip. Mm -hmm. So it's also, fun fact, it's also one of the reasons why I hate most uh, media depictions of mediums. Because imagine it, you're connecting to someone else's memories and emotions and thoughts. How does that not affect you and make you like toss yourself around or throw your head around? I always thought that was fucking stupid. Especially I mean, probably I'm be... Sorry, I, I don't throw myself around when I'm feeling things. It typically just makes me stuck in place because yeah. I'm so absorbed in the fucking shit getting tossed at me. Yeah. yeah. I mean, uh, like, the simplest explanation is the fact that uh, being a show medium has money in it. Mm. There's just a shit ton of, like, Oh, no, I wasn't People talking about this. the show. I was just talking about in shows, in, like, books. No, I mean, like, and, like, I mean, like, show medium. Like, someone who, like, is a oh, medium yeah. for that's shows. True. That, that's true. And there is a valid difference between mediums that don't look for money and are actual mediums and ones that are not, not mediums but use, yeah. like, their brain skills to make money as a medium. Because yeah. it's very easy to get people to think you're a medium when you're not. Yeah. Especially when it's not in a live setting and you don't know the person, like, what their practices are before doing it. Because, yeah, like, oh. the main example I think of is, like, the Long Island medium thing. Where, like, it's just been confirmed on multiple accounts. Where, like, when she does those big group meetups, she would specifically look through uh, the list of people who had gotten tickets for it and then do Google searches on that person's family history. Oh, man, the fuck? That actually makes sense, but, man. 
Yeah. Besides that, you just gotta do. You just gotta be decent at cold reading and using Barnum st sentences. Yeah. But anyway. Right. Yeah. Oh, you ready? Got it. Yeah. I have ten cats with mythology names. I am eating nerds gummies. I use Twitter too much. Okay, so we know the third one's correct, and that's a true. Which one's the lie? Which one's the lie? <laughs> what? It's... Which one know. do you think is the lie? That Hatchet has 10 cats with mythology names, or that he eats nerd gummies? Hatchet, does that include cats that you made up in your head? <laughs> what? It, it just includes cat cats, like his cat Loki. So, how many cats does he currently have? And I do. Go down the stream. I he will not clarify that. His cats. That's sad. You need this is this is not a game of twenty questions. This is a game of two truths, one lie. I know that, that while they have a lot of cats, I know not all of them have mythology names. So I'm going to guess number one is the one. And they have problems with eating sugar? No, they don't. They, they can eat sugar fine. I think they only with number one. Ah, yes, these are good nerds gummies. Oh, yes. I'm guessing but two. It might be number. It might be number two. What's the <laughs> nerd gummy he wrote? I'm not too sure if they're still producing those or not. Their <laughs> book is saying. Also, book is saying. Also, the second one is giving me what do I have in my pocket? Energy. That, that's a little concerning. <laughs> what, what? what do you have in your pocket? Okay, now, now you see that, that, like, if anyone here was being clever, the thing you would then say is, "That's not fair. That's not fair. Give me three guesses." Maybe I could go with number two, but number one sounds so unlikely. What the fuck? Having ten pussies, okay. What? What? Wait, whoa, what, what the fuck? Well, that's what he called them, they're pussy cats. Wait. What? Hey, hey, don't worry about it. <laughs> what just happened? I'm putting that in quotes and things 18 plus. What did Spood say? <laughs> don't worry about it. Uh, also, I like how the first thing. I I decided to do a hatchet and go on Twitter. Yeah. The first thing I saw in 2014, 24-year-old Shad Tyron died during rough sex with a woman named Taylor Sh Sh Business. <laughs> While they were both high on redacted drug during intercourse, Taylor strangled him to death, cut off his head, and removed his organs. When she was arrested, she told police they would have fun trying to find his organs. What the fuck are you- What? Fen-fen. <laughs> fen fen, -fen. <laughs> Come here, fen, -fen. Because of that, I'm, re I'm retweeting that. Just because I saw it. No, that's awful. And well- and should business attacked her own lawyer in court. Interesting. Oh, God. And so it responded to this tweet. So she's single? I can fix her. <laughs> Here's my little fan fan. So yeah, what what are what are all what are all the answers we've gotten? I have made my 
things purposefully vague and also highly possible. Maybe I could... Uh, I... Book says I... two. Did everyone get? Yeah, I already just said two. I was first. Fred says two. I think I'm going to change my answer to two. Scoot, are you still on going to guess one? Well, it's just a game, so yeah, one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so Spood said one, and yeah. Jiri says two. Yeah. Uh, the lie is number one. God damn it! <laughs> I have Wait, 10 cats. I have 10 cats, but three of them do not have mythological names. Man, you're the cat mama. I've got, let me see, I've got little Fen Fen, who's the portrait that I drew. Uh, I've got Fenrir, Loki, Hestia, Hermes. Stop chewing on my microphone, little shit. Hermes, uh, Uller, bro, Gunther, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Munin. My other three cats are Gizmo, named after the Mogwai from the Grimslands movie, Festus, named after a really stupid character, I think, in Gunsmoke, and Pepe, named after Pepe Le Pew from Looney Tunes. I should have stayed on number one with food. Book says, oh, for some reason I thought Fen Fen was a nickname for Fenrir. Yeah, Fen Fen, yeah, Fen Fen is a nickname for Fenrir. His, although I should also clarify, technically, uh, the majority of our cats, actually, no, I think basically all of our cats have multiple names because I give them mythological names, but my parents have an official name. So my little Fenrir is technically named Taz after a Tasmanian devil. Gunther or Yorman Gunther is named Lamar after the town that my dad found him in. Stuff like that. But yeah, um I am I I was being very cheeky. I am currently eating Nerds gummy clusters. They're fucking amazing. And uh, I use, I do use Twitter too much. I feel like Spoon has won the game, and I'm unsure how I feel about that. Uh, let's see. Um, actually, yeah, Spood won. Spood, Spood ends with three points. Uh, myself, Book, and Jerry have two points. The Cat Cowbird has one point. Yeah, so uh, the only, the person who won was the per person who's not actually in the group. In game. Right? Yeah, uh, sorry, I was just seeing the thing, you retweeted it, and I almost started crying because of the dog thing. Oh, fuck, yeah, that, that was a couple, like, uh, yesterday I retweeted that, sorry. It's fine. <laughs> Humans are awful. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah. we're going on to scary Story. stories. Yeah, I was about to say something's wrong. Bright didn't react to me calling them a cat cowbird on the scoreboard. <laughs> yeah, because. Yes. It was mm -hmm. just that and all. Oh, Jesus Christ. I have eight notifications on Twitter. <laughs> all right. Everyone ready? Wait, why is there a keep drawing option for story?
There's no, I don't know. There's no drawing option. You want scoreboard to be a hot? I mean, I, I don't know what the fuck it would do with our writing, Let's so no. I, oh, I accidentally clicked it all. Dip shit. Alright, so we're we're writing spooky stories. Oh shit, I forgot. I need to type somewhere else, because I don't want <laughs> Danger Noodles just to hear the stippy steps you would hear in SP Containment Breach. What, you don't want chat to hear your stippity 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 steps? Yes. I'm pretty sure whoever gets mine is going to immediately know it's mine. <laughs> That's kind of the case at every time. I'm pretty sure whoever gets mine will also know it's from me. You won't know mine is from me, lol. Or will I? Bitch. <laughs> what if I get yours first, bookworm? Hmm. <laughs> For sure, you'll get mine last. Because it usually goes in order. Oh, true. Guess we're waiting on Jerry. What are you talking about? Oh. It's on three or four, so I thought it was Jerry because I heard you typing. <laughs> well, I'm typing to myself. Ah. Uh, I swear, if it does this, if it is actually works, <laughs> it will be amazing. Oh. My. God. <laughs> I know what my last words are gonna be. Shit. God damn it. No, god damn it, Oprah. Stop being a piece of shit. I can't see where it is. It won't let me see where things are. Thank you. Fuck you, Oprah. Oh, it's not struggling. <laughs>
So who's left? Was it bookworm? It might have been. The person that I had a feeling was a transmed has now de de demanded that I, that I, that they say, show me an image of an adult cis male with exclusively female secondary sex characteristics. Uh. I gotta make sure that this is how you spell the word. Fuck off, go go. Okay, yep, it is. Okay, I want to make sure I spelled it correct. Oh, no. What oh, no, doing? he returns. I just clicked back to see what my next thing to write is. He's returned. Jesus Christ, Bookworm, what are you doing? What? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Why is there a Furbies in my chat? I do not approve of the Furbies in my chat, Bookworm. I kind of want to use a Furby now. Apparently, Twitch uh, 
has made it so you know those uh badges uh that you get for bits like different tier levels i can yeah. change the picture of those so i was thinking instead of at 25 gift subs instead of emotes so different tiers uh for the s sub badges and the <laughs> pit badges of just daryl different daryl images perfect Oh, I fucking hate whoever wrote this. Oh, this would be, just be for me. Fuck you. I mean, I might get... Well, I mean... Well, actually... I could just do... Do Daryl different angles. <laughs> Just have Daryl be upside down for one of the badges. <laughs> that would be perfect. Anyways. I, f I still fucking hate whoever wrote this. <laughs> Why is my model freaking out? Okay, there we go. Thank you. What's wrong with you? Just because whoever wrote this, I'm gonna derail this. None of the stories will make any sense, but that's okay. Please fit, please fit, please fit. Yes! I ended this story perfectly. You cannot say otherwise. Yep, yeah. this person's a full-on trans nerd. So, here's the thing. I'm gonna do this later, like probably after stream or something. But um, you know that alert that shows up in chat, like so and so bought you a subscription. Yeah. Yeah, Twitch made it so you can change what that says. Cool. So I can literally write down, take my money, bitch, and I'll allow it. <laughs> and I'm tempted to write that. <laughs> Yeah, we can probably do one more right uh, round of writing, or just shut up and take my money. <laughs> yeah. Though I'm unsure if I should change the name of of uh, tier tube, uh, tier two, not tier tube, tier 
two or tier three subs because I've yet to see those on the channel. And probably won't be for a very long time, which is fine. Because mainly those are the more expensive t uh, subs. But that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> I'm the only one who's done. And my ending was very stupid. <laughs> Let's see. Not as stupid as my ending. I need to go put on deodorant. I'll be right back. No. Fuck you. Let's say you oh, shit. Why do you just love tearing up my bed before I go to bed? You little shit. Alright, we'll wait for a hatchet to get back. Can I go pee while he's gone? No. I'm gonna go pee. I'll be right back. <laughs> I had no hesitation, bookworm. Like, no hesitation. It was like instant. <laughs> Really, bookworm? Every turn. We're in for Jerry. They're uh, taking a ginormous piss. Oh, I wish I had heard that. Then I would have gone go take a piss. Alright. I changed the, the name of the tier 1 subscription to... Just shut up and take my money. <gasps> Bookworm. What should I call the tier tube? And God damn it, I did it again. <laughs> tier tube. Tier tube. <laughs> tier tube. <laughs> I said it twice. Well, tier then call the tier. Call the tier two. Tier tube. No. <laughs> What should I say for a uh, tier two and tier three? Since you spend the most money on the on the channel by far. <laughs> tier three should be new bitly in there. Let's see. There you go, look. How do right. scientists determine the age of green work? Alright, what shall tier 2 be? Oh wait, I didn't say tier 2! I actually said tier 2! Yes! I broke the cycle! I swear, if I get to work tomorrow and I say tube instead of two, I'm going to be so mad at myself. That's just actually really cool. I wanted to look up to see how scientists confirm the age of Greenland sharks, because I thought it was something to do with like rings around their eyes. Apparently, no. It's because inside the shark's eyes, there are proteins that are formed before birth and do not degrade with age. So they can carbon date those proteins to figure out the age of a Greenland shark. Hmm. I think the oldest Greenland shark was like around 270 years old. 
Oh, so it, it could have been able to see uh, the the bombs being dropped. I'm back. Fun fact, like quite literally, uh, um, I also remember that uh, in said proteins uh, in their eyes, scientists can actually directly track when nuclear bombs were dropped because oh. of like the global radiation that comes from the blasts. Talking about Greenland sharks. Yeah. I mean, I could do that book one, cause, but I was thinking more of, like, mean names. Are we gonna start? Yeah. Alright. The Once there okay. was an undead orphan. Undead orphan. Small rotted hands caused a fire to make their killer quickle. Incinerate, they proceeded to dance on the killers. Ashes, and scattered them across the land to warn everyone. Nice. Aww. That turned wholesome. Based on dead orphan. Yes. Well, I, I just thought if they're an undead orphan, that means someone killed their family, so that person should die. Wait, so, wait, no, there's the other, there's the other idea. What if... What? They're an undead orphan, which means this mm -hmm. orphan is un like is already dead. So, yeah. what if they became an undead orphan because their undead parents were brought back to life? Oh. I think it's I more likely that they were brought to undead life where their parents remain dead. Mm -hmm. Ah. Anyways, bookworm. Let's see yours. It was a dark night, and the oil baron was visiting a... Oh, god damn it! ...large assortment of angry skeletal furbies. <laughs> oh my gosh, Hatchet, you son of a bitch. Get set in an orphanage fire. <laughs> Get set in an orphanage Everything there soon expired. <laughs> okay, so... So, let's interpret this story. I think <laughs> what happened is... The oil baron shows up, starts talking angry with the angry skeletal Furbies about some awful shit, and then Bright comes along, lights the orphanage that they were meeting at for some reason on fire, and thus created a, a very good deed by taking out the oil baron. That's and orphans. <laughs> no, not- what the- what? Orphans were not there. It's an abandoned orphanage. <laughs> this is spooky story time. Everything's abandoned. <laughs> Unless I, proven otherwise. I also love how less words were being put in the further went into the story. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> About the same characters for the first two, and then it's just, you didn't want to make anything <laughs> significant. So you're just, eh, I'm just gonna set them on fire. Yeah. Anyways. Oh. Saved it. All right, next. Fucking retconning the oil band. So see the eyes that rot what the living long forgot. Oh, I got For yours the first life year. that was taken in the cot. Wait, I got a point. <laughs> Death smiled grimly, knowing that it was all in a day's work. I think as the skeleton appeared. I think I think I got a point because I continued the rhyme. Maybe, yeah. <laughs> So see the eyes that rot what the living long forgot, for the life that was taken in the cot. Death smiled <laughs> grimly, knowing that it was all in a day's work, as the skeleton appeared. <laughs> yeah, Bright was weirdly the only one on topic. Yeah. <laughs> skeleton appeared. Well, I mean, Books was on topic, like Book added on that Death was looking over at the people in the cots. Technically, it was talking about dead people, but it wasn't talking about death or skeletons. Oh. Nah. Alright, let's see if anyone else got points. I swear, if I don't want to get some point at the end of this, because I actually turned points on, that's gonna be funny. If you are, then we're just gonna declare Spood the honorary winner and turn points off. <laughs> The year was 1929. The mummies had begun their march. The mummies marched oh, on the I British the Museum. 
to destroy and set things alight, the mummies marched on to take over the world and well, make people gay. Added, uh, <laughs> I would have added fire if I knew the very beginning, but I guess that's the point of these stories. I think I put the perfect ending. <laughs> yeah, so what we've got is uh, the mummies, they, they angry for good reason. They go to the British Museum and they're angry because the British Museum took all their shit and their homies. And then they light the place on fire because I guess mummies are pyromaniacs now. Yeah. Uh, and then they go all over the world and make people gay. <laughs> I, I like the idea of destroying the British Museum because of how many things they have there that doesn't belong to Britain. Yeah, and the only issue... Going over to help to make people gay. Yeah, the, the only issue, though, is that I doubt the mummies would have the wherewithal to take all the artifacts back to their locations. Well, to be fair... So they might just burn like, everything. You know what? You don't want anyone to take it back? Then you can't have it either. Fuck you. Yeah, just, just go full spite mode. Uh, I wouldn't blame them. It's like, you have all our shit. We know you're not going to give it back. It's been so many thousands of years. Let's just yeah. burn it all. Wait, you know how there's like... Either. You know how there's like multiple movies about if you take something away f uh, from a pyramid, you get the mummy's curse? Yeah. What if the curse is it, it just makes people gay? <laughs> and that's how they make people gay. They just... <laughs> if you take something from them, you're gay now. <laughs> right. Yes. Don't give don't give the ancient alien theorists ideas. <laughs> yeah, I win. No Spood wins. <laughs> don't you know Spood is the winner? I, I turned off scoreboard. I don't okay. know how I fully got a point. I really think it was just because I rhymed it, which is stupid. <laughs> Everyone ready for the last round? Oh, this is gonna be it? It's 11.07. Oh, shit, yeah. Okay. Fuck. Let's just... Let's do a little time. We need more guard deck bomb. Which sucks I'm not streaming tomorrow, but, but I'm helping out a, f a friend with their VTuber debut, so I think that's... Yeah. Nicer. <laughs> I may, do you think you want to add this to something next week? Maybe. Okay. What is a per what is an incredibly terrifying thing to see? Barb <laughs> said so colonizers made gay people. Hmm. Yes. No. No, they didn't. Colonialism <laughs> is a large part of why gay people have been heavily oppressed. Unfortunately. In fact, like, uh, like one of the darker elements of looking through uh, colonial history is the fact that some accounts of like early Spanish settlers was literally just, they show up, find these individual tribes of native folk, and just immediately grab all of the third gender, uh, gender non-conforming people and kill them. Yeah. Or I should say third and multi-gender. Not, not conforming to the binary genders. Mm. Which were quite common. Okay, hatchet. So, I got a tier one subscription name, which is Just Shut Up and Take My Money. Bookworm put in also tier three subscription name, New Bitlionaire. What should tier two Ooh. be? Tier tube. I'm not fucking doing tier two. Do it bright. Do it bright. Make it tier tube. <laughs> it makes no sense if you're already even there. I don't care. It'll confuse people. It'll be funny. You made the mean right. Why are you crying, bookworm? 
We can explain it over and over again. I don't want to explain it over and over again. I mean, we already do that with the bright as a bird cow cat thing. Yeah. And I'm not a goddamn bird or a cat. For his yes, you are. Heart. Oh. Well, fuck you, Hatchet. Oh. We can Look. explain it over and over again. Oh. Look, yeah. Hatchet, you, you made Bookworm cry. How do you feel? Neutral. <laughs> Welcome, you have such a great friend. <laughs> Book says it's all right, it's a thing that happened in history. Yeah. Gotta learn it at some point. Yeah. Uh, name the second tier hatchlings. Hatchlings? Uh oh, Hatch fuck you. What? It's a fucking reference to the brightest bird. It took no, me. It... Oh, oh, wait, it's not. No, it's not. I wasn't thinking of that. There's oh. more things that hatch from eggs than birds, Bright. Like snakes. And they're called danger noodles. But oh. then again, I feel like it'd be better if it all had a consistent theme. Then again, there are snakes that have live birth. True. I mean, the, tier one and tier three were just memes. Yeah. Well, then in that case, uh. You could call them hatching hissers. Sorry. I don't know. Uh, uh, how about a uh, worshiper of the teleoilet? Oh my gosh. Or teleoilet tele cultist. Just call them cultists for short. I like how it was just a meme where you try to get me to make uh, uh, a toilet out of telekill, I think it's called. But like, yeah. you, you physically couldn't in the mod. <laughs> And I was also in a Minecraft world where all of a sudden my glitching power became so bad that I had to fight to look around or or it would do that, uh, you know that bouncing box thing that happens on old TVs? Like it'll go across the screen and almost hit the corner, something like that. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was my Minecraft world. <laughs> that's, what I, what, that's what I'll be... I constantly be looking around like that, and I had to fight to keep it staying straight, so I abandoned it. I don't know why that happened. You can get rid of the praise bright's ass. What? <laughs> no, we're keeping praise bright's ass. Fuck you. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay.
Uh, I might have derailed the story and a disturbing turn of events. We know how you operate, right? It's fine. <laughs> I'm not sure. Was this, oh, gee, was this you, Bright? What? <laughs> yes, that's me, Bookworm. <laughs> I was just about to ask. <laughs> yes, that was me, Bookworm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get an immediate Y bright from everyone the second my person to my story is revealed. <laughs> I guess Bookworm's already questioning me at the moment. <laughs> Hey, Bookworm, I just noticed something. Um, you're close getting to the 100,000 uh, bit uh, badge. You're at 87,247 bits. I don't know how much that is in converted. What? Holy fucking shit, book. You spent that much money on bits? Why have I not realized that? Wait, what? Bookworm has apparently spent $872.47 on bits. And oh. I've just now noticed. That's like over like a year or so though, true. I have to look up the meaning of this word because I don't know what it means. <laughs> I'm like, oh, the first thing that comes up when I, I the first two things that no, the first three things that come up that when I try to type this word in is gaslighting. Gay. Gay happy. <laughs> I'm looking at the meaning of. <laughs> now I'm tempted to know, to know the meaning of gay happy. <laughs> I'm I'm tempted. A happy or lighthearted mood. That's not what I was hoping for. I was hoping for something funny. But oh well. Yeah, it's only just the other definition of gay. Yeah.
I notice with you. <laughs> when you run out notice with you. <laughs> what? Fuck. What? <laughs> I was like, it would have worked. You'll understand why I put both, book. You'll understand. <laughs> You'll understand. Please fit. Please fit. Yes, I was. Did I misspell it? Because that's what it was supposed to be. I think. <laughs> Did I misspell it? Yes, it fits. Yes. I didn't hear TV sounds. I don't know. It just makes sense together. <laughs> don't worry about it, book. You're ending the story. I believe in you. All right, everyone ready? Give me a sec. Oh god! What? God damn it, Hatch! Are you on Twitter? Uh, Hatch it. Hatch it. All right, hold on. I gotta go to uh. Where would it be in? I thought where, where it is. But no, no, no. There it is. There it is. Channel points go here. Short. Oh, wait. No, God. Fucking damn it, fuck off. Add new custom award. Don't worry what I'm doing. And boom. It is now created. Anyways, you ready? Okay. I'm ready. Oh, wait. We're already past time. All right. I'm back. Are we good? Yeah, I'm ready. Yeah, Colonizers discover a tonight. land of advanced gay people. The colonizers did some bad things, and angered the people. The people being colonized murdered the colonizers. <laughs> and sent their blood-soaked ships to the depths. I'm part Blackfoot, what did you expect? I know. There we go. This is good. Most base story of the night. <laughs> yeah. A flying dead rat decided to explore the world. Oh my gosh, Bookworm, the undead I rat ended flew, it perfectly seeing everything of the world in time. The rotting rat settled in Romania to start its army. To reawaken the great black death on colonizers. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. 
I ended it perfect feeling for you. Are your all book. of are all of these stories gonna be about colonizers by the end? I don't know. <laughs> I should say colonizers getting shit on. Maybe. <laughs> her decaying graying form left the river to find her foe. Her gait but a limp and he gaze instilling woe. Oh, oh, I meant to say her gait. The gait limp he or she walked made people trans. <laughs> yeah. Once transed, everyone began their quest for HRT. Booker, the reason why I put he slash she is because had you put the her pronoun, as well as the <laughs> pronoun. So I was confused. Was it two people? One person? So I just put he saw she. Okay. Uh, this is a gender fluid ghost. <laughs> yeah. That's trans is people's gender. Yeah. <laughs> that's why I did that. Also, the gate limp doesn't make sense. That's true. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> A gait is how someone walks. A limp is describing their gait. If you just say a gait limp, it's the opposite. <laughs> it's perfect. A gait limp actually does make sense. But... There stood Ronald Reagan zombie, reaching for its gun. Holding the gun to his head as he said. Now, I'll let you go if you answer this one riddle for me. The person said no to the riddle and punched them away. Oh. Yeah. What? That was so what? bad shit. I, I made it very dark. I didn't know I didn't know it was about Ronald Reagan zombie, but apparently whoever the zombie was aiming their gun at punched the zombie and walked away. <laughs> I made it dark saying that Ronald Reagan put the gun to his head. Yeah, like, what we've got here is Ronald Reagan's zombie is reaching for a gun. The gu zombie aimed the gun at their own head. <laughs> yeah. And then the, the Reagan zombie said, now I'll let you go if you answer this one riddle for me. And then just some random person just shows up, says no, and punches the, gu the fucking zombie. Yeah. Or Reagan was just talking to himself and he punched himself. Yeah. I thought Ronald, I thought the, the, the person, honestly, since I only saw the last thing, I just thought it was some random asshole giving another person a riddle. I didn't know yeah. it was Ronald Reagan zombie holding a gun at someone. So like, yeah. Look, punch them. I guess they punched the gun away. <laughs> Zonju came teacher. right at the end again. Zanju, poor time. No, Zanju was here for a good portion yesterday. It was a different person that showed up right at the end. No, oh, Zanji, that's right. That does have Fight Club vibes. It was someone else. I forgot. Oh. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Uh, bookworm last words go. Jesus Christ! Fire Red Emblem has gifted one subs to viewers. I didn't even see it. What happened? Did it actually say it or... or what? I don't know what happened. Bookworm gifted a tier one sub. Yeah, I know. I just heard it and it. I, I don't see it. Yeah, I don't see it either. But I swear. Gotta get put in. Anyways. 
Yeah, Bitcoin, go ahead and do your last words. Also, did you say that you added a new thing? Oh, yeah. I added a new point for D. For two. Oh, I misspelled off. Let me see. Nope. Alright. So let me actually go back. And like, comment, subscribe, and follow Bright if you enjoy seeing colonizers get their comeuppance. <laughs> also, for Reagan being punched. Give her money if you can to support more based actions. My God. Jesus Christ. I wonder, hold on. I want to see something. Shut the fuck up, Twitch. Shut the fuck up, Peter. It says it's changed, so I don't... Maybe it's because it's new. I don't know. Twitch be weird. Anyways. And, uh... Jerry, last words, go. Yes, we're ending. <laughs> so see the eyes that rot with the living alive shot, breathing, catching deeper rates as the spinning text is on. A whirling hurricane of colors that seem like such wonders caused by none other than my brother of arms that has flopped and crept from me from harm. Is not a thing the living would have known until the meeting. The land's unknown, even as this life expires, it's obvious that this man will walk the wire. In his deceptive balancing act, they will drive down the other men. One who smiles with drink and weaves with words of deception, the living won't see. And warning will they see, for it is the king's eyes who know his greed. I feel like I could have done that better. All right, hatchet last words, go. And remember, kids, outside of several dogs are the aliens inside your mind, but those aliens are scared of dogs, so get them very close to the dog. The dogs are made of cheese. <laughs> what the...
<laughs> the cheese is made of goat. The goat is made of dog. And the dog is made of cheese. Always remember the cycle. Dog, cheese, goat, dog. Cheese, goat, dog, cheese, goat, dog, cheese, goat, dog. Anyways, uh, Danger Noodles, I hope you enjoyed. I hope to see you guys next time for your next experiment, uh, next mission, and, uh, 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 u